Do you attempt to emotionally threaten a person in order for them to do what you want? Definitely not. I do not agree with emotional threats at all. I feel though that most people engage emotional threats almost every day, if not every hour or minute of their lives. If you think about the average interaction between a parent and a child, a lot of it is emotional, emotionally threatening mm -hmm. in the sense that the child's behaviour is being controlled by the parent either withdrawing or giving something depending upon what the child does and that is an emotional threat. That is a, um, it's, it's a, well it's probably more specific to say that it's more like a combination of bribes and threats. <laughs> and I feel that this is how the majority of people interact with each other. They have a combination of bribes and threats. So the bribe is, I won't raise the truth about you if you don't raise the truth yeah. about me. That's a bribe. Yeah. Uh, a threat is, I'll raise the truth about you in public unless you do something for me. Right. That's a threat. Yeah. So quite frequently, you see a combination of bribes and threats used in everybody's day-to-day -day life. I don't do that with people. You know that I don't do that with you at home. And I don't do that with people in my day-to-day -day interactions with people. I don't have a motivation of motivating, of um, manipulating people. Mm -hmm. I have a motivation of just saying the truth and being myself while I'm there present in that particular situation. They're my only motivations. And, and as a result of that, um, people often around me are confronted because I'm often not what they want me to be. I'm not, I'm not what they like, oftentimes, and I'm not responding to their desire for a bribe. Mm. So, so many times people want to be bribed. You know, they want to have, they want to have the interaction of, don't you say any truth to me and I'll promise not to say any truth to you. They want that interaction because they're so afraid of the truth themselves. Mm -hmm. So I don't engage in those kind of uh, behaviours at all. What I like to do with people is I like to be open and frank and truthful about my own feelings and open and frank and truthful about what I'm feeling from the other person. And if what I'm feeling from the other person is what I believe to be unloving or violent in its nature, then I don't want to spend any time with them. If, if what I'm feeling from the other person is enjoyable and pleasant to be with, um, and by the way, a person can tell me the truth about myself because I'm perfectly able to receive it as everybody who's close to me knows. If they can tell me something about myself, I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, I often find that people are not perfectly okay with even telling me that. Mm. So we have a lot of emotional investments, I feel, as a society in not sharing the truth with each other. And we have a lot of emotional investments in maintaining specific emotional status quo. In other words, we ha many people have an emotional investment of don't make me cry. In other words, don't discuss anything with me that is relating to my past that will cause a tear to come up in my eye because then I might get overwhelmed with an emotion that I'll have to experience and I don't want to experience. You know, a lot of people don't feel also, don't make me feel ashamed. For many people, just ta saying the truth about their life makes them feel ashamed because they did shameful things during their life. Mm -hmm. and, and so they feel ashamed when you start speaking of the truth about their life. I don't believe that is shaming them. I believe that is being truthful. If you had an emotion of judgment about what they'd done, now that's shaming them. Hmm. Yeah, so my feelings are speaking the truth is important to every single person in my life. And if the person wants the truth, then I'll enjoy their company a lot. If they don't want the truth, then they'll obviously get angry with me or resistive in some way, and I won't want their company very much. Hmm. You were mentioning about um, manipulative uh, this the accusation, I suppose, is often made that you're manipulative. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't feel it's often made, by the way. No. I, I don't. In the course of an entire year, I might hear the accusation once or twice. <laughs> yeah, let's say it's consistently made by the media. Uh, right. It's uh, consistently made by the media and the a media. few yeah. of attacking individuals yes. Yes. who just don't like me. Who are not the majority of people we know no. at all. No. Yeah. But I just found it interesting that you, you're talking about this idea of um, uh, manipulating people um, through bribery and um, threats. And that's actually, from what you're saying, that's true manipulation. Why, why do you think it is that people find you stating the truth 
to be manipulative? Well, I feel again, a lot of times it relates to their childhoods. And many times the only time a child heard the truth was when the parent was trying to manipulate them to do something. So I find that very unfortunate, that the underlying motivation of many parents to tell the truth is only to manipulate the child into taking some course of action. Now, of course, if a person's grown up with that, they'll automatically assume that anybody who's telling them the truth is wanting to manipulate them in some way. And I find that very unfortunate. But, but that is in a statement more about their own parents than it is about myself. So when a person accuses me of manipulating them just, by, just when I speak the truth, my, my instant knowing is that they have had a very manipulative childhood where their parents have attempted to manipulate them using the truth. Yeah, I suppose what I'm asking is, if you're stating the truth, it's not manipulative. No. I see that. Why is it when the parents are stating the truth, it's a manipulation? What else is going on? Well, manipulation depends upon the intent of the person. So if the intent of the individual is to create a different behaviour because of a statement of truth, then that is manipulation. I don't have an intent to change a person's behaviour or manipulate their behaviour with myself. I just have an intent, an intent to live in harmony with truth. So it depends very much upon the intent of the individual. If, if, if my intent of telling you the truth was to manipulate you by making you feel guilty, then of course I would be manipulating. But I don't tell people the truth in order to make them feel guilty. I tell the truth in order for a person to face up to the truth and help them. And I help them emotionally through the process as well. So as you know, I've told you the truth many times and I've always stood there and, and helped you through the process of dealing with that truth as well. I, haven't, I, I didn't tell you that truth in order to make you feel worse about yourself. I've just said, no, darling, this is the truth. This is what you did. Mm -hmm. And you need to see what you've done before you can change. And, and this is the same intent that I have with everyone. Many times parents don't have that intent. Their intent is to min modify the behaviour of the child. And many people who tell the truth in the world today have the intent of modifying the behaviour of the person. I don't agree with that intent. I don't have that intent. I'm hoping that a person will modify their own behaviour by hearing the truth but only through that mechanism, not because I'm trying to force them into shame or guilt. Mm -hmm. In fact, if they feel shame or guilt, I try to assist them through those emotions, as you know, in order to help alleviate their shame and guilt so that they can just focus on the truth of what, of what happened. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Thank you.